okay so another straightforward one uh, which has lowest volatility lowest volatility means it it has the lowest tend to evaporate which means when you want to boil you have to heat a lot which corresponds its uh, boiling points are very high right so you can see all these compounds are more or less uh, like gases and uh, boiling point determined by mainly the intermolecular interactions as well as the molecular weight so basically since you can consider most of them are like gases in fact uh, they, they could not be gases for an example uh, cbr4 and ch2br2 sometime can be uh, liquids as well but still uh, the interactions are more or less similar because these are like the homologous series right because uh, here ch is replaced by a chlorine and chlorine is uh, replaced by a bromine and in fact four bromines so when you consider about these molecules you can directly go with the <coughs> sorry uh, you can directly go with the molecular weight okay <coughs> So here, uh, CBr4 will have the maximum uh, molecular weight. So according to that, this would have the uh, highest uh, boiling point. Okay. So when you have this type of question, sometimes students get confused. Oh, very easy question. Why they have asked here? If you think this is very easy, it is very easy actually. The idea is you should know the concept. That's all. So here you can consider this as mainly like a homologous series which they could be like uh, gases for an example and uh, in fact if they are not gases just you can imagine when the molecular weight increases their boiling point should increase because these compounds are more or less same and these will have more or less uh, typical uh, interactions for an example but for if you think these are liquids then you need to think about more but no problem in that in fact still you can determine for an example now there is two cl2 one cl so there can be some dipole moment here also here also but here there is no dipole moment so you think this could be nonpolar and this could be polar and they have higher interactions and this is not in fact the case is not there because Consider about the molecular weight also. I have explained to you this many times. Not only consider about the intermolecular interaction, consider the molecular weight also. Because if you only consider about the intermolecular interaction, the boiling point could be either this one or this one, highest. We don't know, even maybe this one. But the fact that they have given this is to consider about the boiling point with respect to the molecular weight also so you need to understand about this one because when comparing these this will have the highest difference you can see from here to here bromine is added so bromine is uh, in fact 79 so you can imagine how much difference is there so according to that uh, you, you can determine the uh, answer very quickly but the fact you need to know those two factors main factors that determines the uh, boiling points okay